So my title today is Leadership is not, a, is, is not a Title. Leadership is a Choice. And it doesn't matter if you have a title. You can have a title and not be a leader. You cannot have a title and you can be a leader. Choosing leadership is choosing freedom. And I want to talk a little bit about that. So when I was preparing for this, I thought, well, I'll go back and take a look at all my titles. So I've got a few here. There are probably only about half of them. Um, I've been a research supervisor, a bug line operator, <laughs> um, a manager of soil and water, an information officer for an agriculture station, a president, a meat wrapper, an entomologist, a senator, and a candy stripper, no striper. Um, <laughs> um, I knew that was going to happen. So in all the roles that I've done, you know, whether it's a meat wrapper, um, or an entomologist or a senator. I've always looked for those opportunities to make things better, to do things differently. And that's part of what leadership is. It's not everything. I mean, leadership, when you look it up in the dictionary, just says the ability to lead, you know? And so if you're a leader, actually the definition is you have followers. And so it's using the skills that you have to get people on your side, essentially, to do things. So I mentioned that leadership is a choice. And it comes from the experiences that we have. And you know, we all have these experiences growing up and, and, and how we relate and react to those experiences is so um, important because we can have a negative experience, what could be negative, and then you carry that for the rest of your life and it limits you in some way. One, I'm about four years old and for some reason, um, I think the, uh, there were some of my brothers and sisters around, but for some, my parents were not home. For some reason, I decide that I want to get into the chicken coop and play with the chickens. And, of course, the dog is following me. And, yeah, people that have on the farm know what this is, <laughs> what the story is. You're ahead of me. Slow down. Um, and so, of course, the dog pushes in behind me, and I can't get the dog out, and the dog killed all the chickens. There was about 25 chickens. And, I mean, once that, once that happens, that's it for the dog. So my parents come home, and I'm like between four to five years old, and essentially, like they say, what happened? And I could have walked away from that and just like hidden under the bed, and nobody would have known, but I came, I came clean. And I essentially said it was my responsibility. And that's essentially what I learned from that, that you have to take responsibility, that it is your responsibility. When something bad happens, you have, to, you have to take a look at it and decide what it means in some kind of a positive light. And there are four agreements that I have tried to live my life by. Number one, be impeccable with your word. Say only what you mean and never ever, this is I think one of the keys, never ever speak against yourself. So you know the voice in our heads that's constantly going, oh, idiot, oh, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have done that. You should have been better at lunch, you know? You should have walked instead of used the escalator. All of those things. <laughs> stop it. Just stop it. Tell that voice to stop it. So that's be impeccable with your word. Number two, don't take anything personally. Um, we all know that somebody could be having a bad day, and that essentially is what happens when they react to you. And it may have absolutely nothing to do with you. So don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions. Uh, has anybody heard about assumptions and what, it, yes, yeah, okay, <laughs> won't do that. Um, assumptions make an ass out of you and me. That's where it comes from. And the last thing is always do your best. Never more, never less. I sent out a, an internet to, uh, tweet essentially saying any burning questions and Julie answered back saying, how do you stay motivated when you don't feel motivated? Some days you're just not going to feel motivated. I mean, and you just, at the end of the day, you just have to say, I did it and I did my best. So, I mean, I think we can all figure out how to come back from that, but don't beat yourself up in terms of whether or not you're having a good day or not. Um, so I'd like to just end with that and remind you that leadership is a night, not a title. It's, for, it's a choice and it's a choice for freedom. And I ask you to choose to lead.